Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So we are done with gate exam. Official answer key is also released. We have seen our responses also. Everything from the gate side has been done. And now we are just waiting for the uh, for the final result, which will be tentatively announced on 16th of March. And that's the long waiting period. And in these days, if somebody has challenged the answer key, if there is some question which people have challenged and if, if uh, gate uh, like as accepts that challenge then those things will be revised in the answer key and that's what is going to affect the final result so that's what is going to happen in these days so I'm making this video to discuss about some factors on the realistic ground uh, that what could be the cutoff of the exam now of course we have discussed that when we have given the exam in the initial review itself I have I have said about the cutoff and I have said what could be the probable cutoff based upon the level of exam right but this gate has taught us a lot of things. This has taught us one more important thing. It's not always just about the exam. It, not, it is not always about just the level of exam or just how the exam has went or what type of questions are asked that is going to decide the cutoff. There are other factors also that, is, that are going to affect the cutoff of the exam. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this particular video. All right. So this video will be useful if you are preparing for the upcoming gate exams and you want to understand the exam itself, the, uh, the, the exam level itself, that's what is this video is going to tell you about. I'm going to talk about three such reasons which are going to decide the cutoff of this particular exam, which are going to play a major role in deciding the cutoff of the exam. All right. So I'll start from the beginning. So when we have given the exam, we saw the level of paper, we saw the question level, we saw what type of questions are asked and what could be the level of the questions and analyzing it based upon the previous gate years and analyzing based upon the previous gate exams we came to a conclusion that the exam was not that much difficult it was not on much difficult side and it was not on much easier side it was in somewhere in the middle and that's why people were uh, like discussing that the cutoff will be somewhere around 28 to 30 marks which uh, like for a tough exam the cutoff used to go somewhere around 25 26 27 marks for a easy exam cutoff goes somewhere around 32 marks 31 marks but this is where the buffer zone lies so the exam was not that much easy and it was not that much difficult so that's why we were saying that the cutoff will be somewhere around 30 plus minus 2 marks okay so that was the initial impression just after giving the exam but that's what we understood after the answer key was released okay so once the answer key released because when we were not having the answer key when we were not having response sheet basically at that time we were okay with it we were because we were having a lot of things in the like in the form of memory based questions and all so we were not aware about the technicality of the exam okay especially i'm talking about some of the aptitude based questions some of the questions from physical chemistry i'm talking about those so those questions were like we assumed that they were easy they were straightforward but they were little technical question and then the official answer key came so the official answer key made things a little bit more on the trickier side so let me tell you one by one first of all in this exam let's not talk about MS mcqs they were easy or they were like usual stuff okay mcqs we all have given in csi net and other exams it was a normal thing for us to tackle NATs were also something which we were practicing and we were like we will talk about it a little later something which came as a surprise this time was MSQs multiple selective questions now this time uh, the options in MSQs you will see that many of the answers were having three three options correct like A, A, B, C correct, A, B, D correct, A, C, D correct something like that now in that case I was having so many queries from the student that sir I have if the answer key says that option A, B and C are correct and I have only marked A and B so how I am going to get the marks or what what portion of the marks I am going to I am supposed to get so let me make that clear that you are not going to get any marks okay MSQs does not have any negative marking uh, but that's that's the catch over here that if the correct options are A, B and C you have to mark all A, B and C in order to get the marks if you have just marked A or if you have just marked B or just marked C or if you have marked AB or BC or AC, you are not going to get marks. Even if you have marked all A, B, C, D, then also you are not going to get any marks. So that means that whatever options are correct, if two options are correct, you have to mark only those two options. If three options are correct, you have to mark all the three options, all the three correct options. Then only you are going to get marks of it. Okay, So that thing should be very clear to you. Many people have this 
misconception that if three options are correct and I have done two of them, I will get some partial marks. No, that, that MSQs does not work like that. Okay. So that made MSQs made this particular exam a little bit uh, uh, like a little bit tricky. So now we can say that the cutoff, although the paper was not that difficult, it was a little bit on the easier side, but still these MSQs were something which were a little technical and earlier, like I think uh, from the previous to previous year, like since 2000, before 2021, we were not having any MSQ uh, questions in the exam. We don't have any data or any paper as such, but that's what we can say that the cutoff will go a little down than what we were expecting earlier, right? Then came NATs and that's where a lot of things changed because this time earlier what used to happen that if the answer is let's say 160, gate used to give you a buffer of 5 marks, 2 marks, 3 marks. It used to give you from 158 to 162. That's that's used to be the range of the exam. But this time, if the answer is 160, the range is 160 to 160. That means your answer should be 160. It cannot be 159. It cannot be 161. If you have if you have written 159, no marks. If you have written 161, no marks. Same goes for decimal places also. If your answer is 158.5, and if uh, the answer key says that your answer should be 158. 7 to 158.9 so your answer should lie in that range only you cannot uh, have a one uh, like your, your answer should lie in that particular range. so this time the, the ranges are made very narrower okay and that again is going to affect the cutoff because NATs are not going to like many people will not get marks in NATs because of some decimal places like one or even up to two decimal places people have done mistake and they have like they have got the answers a little bit you know away from the from the given narrow band of correct answer and that's what is going to affect the cutoff again so one reason which was making the cutoff a little higher that was exam being a little bit on the easier side i will not say easier but yeah let's not say it moderate a little bit from moderate to easier side okay that was making cutoff a little higher but these two factors msqs and nats are going to fetch the cutoff a little down because Cutoff basically is going to be decided based upon how you have performed in exam, how students have performed in exam, right? Based upon the collective exam uh, result, right? It is not going to be just based upon the level of the exam. It is going to be based upon that what mistake majority of people have done, what uh, like if majority of people have not got the answer in the particular range. So all these things are going to decide. So that's what I have seen that particular trend uh, in this particular exam that uh, the cut the students have not got answer in that narrow range of NATs and secondly MSQs may people have like MSQs were very difficult to approach that's what I can say right so these two things are going to affect the cutoff and they are going to fetch the cutoff a little lower so earlier we were expecting it somewhere around 130 now I would say that it will be somewhere around 127 128 okay so it will be somewhere around that it can be a little bit lower also that's that that is also possible and this this thing i'm just saying just after getting the official answer key it's not based upon the exam it's not based upon uh, you know the level of the exam it's based upon the level of exam 30 marks was a decent cutoff 30 31 was a decent cutoff for it but based upon the answer key based upon the narrow band of the answer uh, nats and based upon the msqs uh, I would say that the cutoff will go a little lower. So that's what I have to say regarding the cutoff because many requests I was getting about the cutoff, discuss about the cutoff, to say something about it, to all the things. So I thought to uh, like combine all the things in this particular video. I hope you guys understood. If you have any other uh, like opinion or if you have any other point to be added in this particular video, you can drop down in the comment section below. I, if I will find your point significant, I will pin that down in the comment section. All right. So that's it from my side for this particular video. I hope uh, you liked it and uh, we'll be having new series for the upcoming it, uh, for the upcoming CSRNET exam and we'll be starting that very soon. So stay tuned for that and that's all from my side for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next until then. Have a great day. Bye bye. Take care. Hey guys. So I teach live on an academy plus platform here. I teach for the CSIR UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. 
whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much